There's a lot of noise here all of a sudden. All right, well now that all the ruckus is cleared out, welcome to day 34 of the 365 challenge. I'm sitting on a bench. I don't know why you needed to know that, but uh, I was street performing today. I went out for a little bit to Circular Key, which is actually behind me, but I was doing a few shows. Uh, I didn't really do any shows. I just did a couple performances. I made like 20 bucks. It's really windy out here and uh, the heat doesn't help either. I don't know, I keep talking about it all, but basically the weekdays have turned to absolute shit for me because it's like the end of school holidays now. Yay. Now, of course, I am quite happy with how my show is coming along. So the real test will be the weekend, this weekend, as long as Saturday agrees with me and it's not an absolute disaster like last Saturday. But this time I don't think there's any boat races on, so we should be good to go, hopefully. I have a plan. That plan is to go home. <laughs> no, I'm in the city right now. I'm going to spend a little bit of time shooting some b-roll and stuff because that's just what I feel like doing. And then I'm going to go home. We're going to do today's magic trick for day 34 of the 365 challenge. And then tonight I have a plan. Well, that's like, you know, the second half of the plan, the main part of this plan. The rest of it's just filler until the plan actually starts. Yes. <laughs> You see, typically I shoot B-roll on the fly, very much on the fly, when I'm literally walking to be somewhere else. So, you know, taking the time to do it right now is just a bit chill, it's nice and relaxing, and I can better put a bit more effort in and not rush the shot so much. Magic trick time. The magic trick for day 34. I regret doing that. Now doing a 365 and with everything else going on in my life, it can be a fine balancing act between everything going smoothly and absolute insanity. But much like this deck of cards, if you get it just right, then everything kind of just falls into place. And I'm a big fan of when that happens. Ha, ha. I'll just leave now. All right, so here's the plan. It is like 10 o'clock at night, almost quarter to, I think, and I've never really worked at this time of night, but I'm heading to King's Cross, which is like the nightlife district of Sydney, I do believe, hopefully. It is only Thursday night, so I'm not expecting a lot, but uh, we're just gonna go scope it out tonight a little bit. I've got my stuff with me. And then Friday night, you know, hopefully should be banging and really good. I have no idea though, so, you know, go to test it out. I need to make money somehow, ha <laughs> No lift, lots of stairs for me. More stairs. I made it down all the stairs. I probably have to take them all back up when I come back this way. So I have no idea where I'm going and it's particularly dead at the train station. So apparently I'm in the right place. I'm gonna walk up that way and see how busy it gets. The only thing that's really busy is this one bar. Okay, so King's Cross was completely dead. Uh, I walked up both ends like almost nobody not even a point in doing that i don't reckon so i have been told though the oxford street is also a good place so i'm gonna head there now check it out maybe it's busier on a thursday otherwise i don't know friday 
Now unfortunately I cannot get a train to Oxford. I have to get it to King's Cross and then walk there. It's like a 20 minute walk this direction. So let's go. Fail. Oh, this street is just one big incline. Pushing this thing, yay! I really shouldn't. Mm, I really, really shouldn't. Uh, no, I shouldn't. Whee! Well, I did and I am. So tonight was a bit of a waste of time. I mean, it was nice going on a little adventure, but pushing the trolley on that adventure in the heat is not that fun. And uh, yes, yeah, so it's been kind of unproductive because there's like no one here at all. I suppose it's Thursday night. I could have just looked like bar opening and closing times and probably guessed it would be quiet. So I'm at least glad I came out and had a look. I feel like I've done something productive and I'll probably be back here tomorrow night. Maybe George Street. I don't know. But let's get off that disgusting chair. On an unrelated note though, that chair rolled particularly well.